I don't know. Hi there, welcome Let's back. Let's find out what Edith's up to in the car park. Edith. Hi. Yes, today we are proud to welcome a hot contender for this year's 2002 Hearse of the Year Award. Yes, there is such an award. Come on, mate. Come and join me. And um, our hearse today is driven by the Reverend, uh, Reverend Paul Sinclair, our very own Pastor Pastor. Did you get it? Um, hi. Welcome to the show. Hi. Can you, can you hear me in oh, that, that moment? Yeah. <laughs> um, now, explain, first of all, what on earth is this contraption? This is a motorcycle hearse. Yeah. Uh, it's the world's first fully enclosed motorcycle hearse. Yeah. Because I believe that a motorcyclist deserves a dignified, final, appropriate send-off, just like anyone else. So it's specified for bikers and things. That's who your, your clients are. Anyone who are can fit is welcome, but it's primarily for motorcyclists, bikers, yeah. OK, and, and have mm. you is this done to your specifications? Have you custom-built this? Yeah, the entire thing's custom built. It's a British motorcycle, but all this is custom uh, built. Even the bike's been radically altered. There's a number of engineers involved, former Norton engineer called David uh, Hancock, and different people have helped me uh, to bring it to where it is today. OK, right, take us around to show right. some of the special features okay, of this. OK, basically, this is the most dark. important bit. This is where the funeral director sits. He on the sits, back of the bike? He sits behind me, and he holds on very tight, believe me. And uh, also, when we before a funeral, I say to the family, where was the deceased's favourite run on their bike? Yeah. And we often go out on it, and when we get there, say it was the Ace Cafe, for example, we'd put, put the, a book of condolences here, yeah. and all the bikers would sign it, yeah. and then we'd go back to join the family and go through the normal funeral. Okay. Over here we have the back door. Yeah. Uh, opens, it's very tight, and uh, when this opens up, we have room for a seven-foot coffin. Uh, it should take over, over a ton in weight, which is probably your average biker. Yeah, he's quite large, <laughs> quite large bikers, hasn't he? So that goes in there. And then under here, I have uh, some room for my trestles, uh, for all my waterproof clothing, my cleaning materials, and of course my sandwiches. Now, some people might say that this is quite bizarre and slightly dark. What yeah. would you, how would you answer them? Very, very simply. Years ago, people used to have a dignified send-off by a horse and yeah. a carriage. And one day, this guy decided to turn a perfectly good car into a house. People must have thought, that's a bit dark, that's a bit weird. Why would you chop up a car when we can have all... And now everyone uses cars. Another 10 years, these will be commonplace. No biker should be carried off in the back of a car. And how busy are you? Uh, fairly busy. <laughs> Listen, thank you very much for coming and chatting to us. Thank you. Cheers. Uh, now, with the time at 7.31, it's across to Chris with the latest news. Edith, thank you. Good morning. It's Tuesday, it's the 12th of November, and these are the top six stories.